We are live. We are live. We are live. How you doing tonight there, Steve? Doing good, man. Doing good, man. That's Been on the water up. today, which is good. Don't feel good, good don't it? Got on the water yesterday. <laughs> That's what's up. How's I everybody over tomorrow, there? but it's going to rain. <laughs> yeah. Super Dave, how's everybody else over there in the chat? Super Dave, what's happening, man? So how, how was your bike today? It was good. Good. I'm just... I used um, 164ths today, just one hand tie. I'm uh -huh. just practicing. Um, then I had a 3 8 weight above it. So a little heavier with a 13 foot Ozark. I was just playing with it. First time I okay. fished with that one. I cool. fished with a 15. So just getting yeah. used to it. Open water. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. About eight foot I'll, of water I'll, all day. Oh, eight foot of water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Got my live scope looking a lot better now. Sweet. I just been playing with it. Yeah, I still did got anything, a little dead spot, but I think I can make it work. Yeah, did anything stand out that you, no, you possibly uh -uh. have done that, no. that fixed it? Nope. I just messed with color limit. I end up going to zero. It just looked better. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I messed with color gain. I needed a. That's the, no, one more thing I got to mess with. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Well. Uh, I was on the lake uh, today is Wednesday. I was on the lake Monday. Had it no Tuesday. No, wait a minute. My, yeah, yesterday. I was on the lake yesterday. I was supposed to have had a trip Monday, but the wind was howling, 25, 30 mile an hour. So I, I, I had Tuesday was going to be my off day for this week, and uh, I moved my Monday trip to Tuesday and got out there. Man, you know that cold front it passed through. And uh, we went from, you know, in the low 70s in the mornings to uh, 38 degrees when I got to the ramp hmm. uh, Wednesday morning. I was like, oh, man. And I was like, well, they all they can do is back out a little bit. You know, right. it's just a temperature change. And uh, I got there an hour early and uh, went out. I, mean, I always go out and, you know, well, I don't always, but I try to always go out just to, to look around and, and get at least get a depth, a starting depth. Right. Because this time of year, it changes big time, man. Right. And, and, and this, yeah, I constantly say the spawn season is my least favorite time of year to chase these fish. Right. Because there ain't nothing that stays the same. You, I mean, it, from hour to hour, you could be on a, a decent bite and those fish will just disappear. And it's not like you see them swimming away. You, you don't see them swimming. Uh, right, yeah. And I, I, I still say that these fish travel mostly on the bottom, especially on Lake Houston, man, because I just don't see them. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a, a lot of lakes, the fish move in open water. Right. You know, they'll suspend. You And that's how a lot of people catch them suspended. But man, Lake Houston is just not that lake. And uh, the the amount of time I spend out there, I'm telling you that it's something different with this lake, right? From most lakes that I've I've fished, and you know stuff, you know reports that I read, people constantly finding fish suspended or or moving around within the water column. That just I I, I can't see it happening on Lake Houston, right? But uh, man, that trip uh, Tuesday had two elderly people, the uh, husband and well, I'm not gonna say husband and wife, but but uh, a, a a lady and a, a a guy, and they they you know, I guess if I'm uh, get up to that age, I'm gonna slow down too. So they they move kind of slow, but these fish were were sort of spooky. There was no solid wind direction, so the wind was was variable, blowing from different directions. That you know that makes it pretty tough too. Right. And depending on the structure that those fish are on, you know, if the angle of your boat changes, you don't see them. You can't see them. And these jokers were in it. I mean, I don't care if it was a stump; they they would not be on top of it. Right. They would be in it. And there was there was a lot of fish that they we just didn't get the jig to them in time, and and you just couldn't see them. And it was a really tough trip. They still ended up with some really nice fish, and uh, but the numbers just was not there. I mean, right. we we moved around 
And, you know, usually Lake Houston, that's the ticket. You just keep moving. You're going to find them. But that wasn't a ticket uh, yesterday. So today I had a, a trip and um, so sad. I mean, this, this guy's fished with me, you know, eight or ten times. And I knew he had terminal cancer. And I knew he wasn't doing really well. But he he passed the day before our trip. Man. And uh, so today... He passed yesterday, and so today I just, you know, went out this afternoon. I only was on the lake, you know, two or three hours, just just looking at stuff that I hadn't fished in a long time, and finally found uh, an area that held some really good fish and and seemed to be good numbers of fish. And uh, they're still deep. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to go out there and beat the banks. I see so many people on Lake Houston just pounding the banks. You know, they. And that used to work on Lake Houston, right. but like I, I've said uh, uh, a few weeks ago, and and have continued to say that that lake is the water clarity is just insanely clear now. Right. For you know, you know, compared to what it used to be, it used to be a really muddy lake, but it, it's not anymore. It's really clear, right. and I, I think these fish are just not going to the bank to spawn. Right. And, uh, but I know the females, I'm, I'm still getting them, you know, anywhere from eight to out to 16 foot of water. And right. actually, uh, Tuesday, we caught all two biggest fish of the trip in 18 foot of water mm. down there, dug in on some structure in 18 feet of water. That's why I was catching them yesterday on Benbrook. Really? Yep. yep. Did you get any shallow? Um, five or six foot got a couple yes, that's yeah you know they're scattered yeah they so scattered man i mean a lot of people don't understand why i say that that this time of year is 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 my least favorite and that you just you know a, a, a temperature difference from from eight to 18 foot of water man that's yeah. a lot of water to cover yeah. and they were i was looking at timber and all the ones i caught was open water yeah in the timber yeah we need some so, of them jeans yeah. down here <laughs> <laughs> yep, just swimming around. Yeah, ready to get sniped. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, do you, have you fished any lake up there that that you don't see open water fish? Mm, no, I basically see them everywhere. Wow. Yeah, I just look for open. I don't even lately. I haven't even stopped on no timber except for fork. Yeah. Okay. But in okay. fork, you'll see because they'll you'll go a, a a minute stretch with between a tree and you'll see a few out there in open water. Yeah. And they move. You know, I never realized how much crappie move before live scope. But them fish, uh, I I went into the back of a cove in two foot of water, put my power poles down, and I just watch. And you can see all them fish in the buck rush. And then things are just moving everywhere. Big catfish coming in, going out. That's pretty amazing. Cool. That's what's but up. They didn't catch no crappie in two, three foot. Yeah. Yeah, they were, I think they were yellow bass because they were moving real, real a lot. Pretty you know, quick. And, yeah, were they yeah. up and off on the bottom? Yeah, the they bottom? were just moving around and yeah, in a yeah. school of two or three. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see that that yellow bass do that a lot. Yeah, uh, more so on I see it on Conroe more than on, on Houston. But right. you know, they'll be on the bottom and they'll pop up and swim around and right back to the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. it'll be a school of them doing it. Yeah, yeah. Murdoch said so he got out today. So he just got off the water. Didn't think I'd make it. Oh, cool, man. How'd well, you do, what's, Murdoch? Exactly. You can't what just lake? tell us you, you've been and, and hadn't yeah. had not not going to let us know what you did out there. I know you had a cooler full fishing them lakes over there in, in the silt. Hey, JR. JR. Yep. There's Super Dave. Hey, Super There's Dave. Squiddo. Squiddo, what up, man? Jigs up, say he's still Jigs catching up. slabs on timber in 27 feet of water, and they're full of eggs. They are either late on going to the bank, or they're... Now, I will tell you this. I'm going to stop right there. Well, you got it. They're going to spawn in the trees. They will mm -hmm. spawn in mm -hmm. those trees. Yep. So, that's a good bite on Fork. Yep. That's what's up, man. I'm planning on going Friday, and then fish yeah. that crappie fest, so... Cool. That's the plan, but then it looks like the rain's gonna be raining Friday up there. So, I'll, yeah. yeah, yeah, that dirt gonna fork just it just day in and day out. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just 
Yep. Danny, what's going on, my man? Hey, Danny. How's it going, man? So, Craig, did you get your jigs in or what, man? Come on. I see you're not asking about them. I mean, you must got them. <laughs> have you been, have you wet any of them yet? JR says, hey, SK and Steve, how did you do today, SK? I good got good, some more man. videos. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I had, uh, I had eight big old fish and, uh, I was going to let them go, but I had somebody right beside me say, you better not throw that fish back. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good buddy of mine too. So. The first eight didn't make it. Then he said, I got enough. I'm going home. Mm -hmm. And after that, I probably caught, you know, six or eight more uh, that I got to put back. I think I recorded four or five videos I'll post on YouTube, some big old fish that I put back in the drink. Devon, what's going on, my man? Hey, Devon. There's Black Smoke Matters. Hey, Black Smoke. Super, Super Dave. Dave. You've been fishing, Super Dave. Crappie day fish on. What's going hey, on, what's my up, man? Crappy day. They're slick. What's up, buddy? Hey, slick. Yep, C and B. First day and got a stratus in back of me. That's yep, what's up. Yep. I'm yep. surprised you don't. Well, you can't probably have to move a bunch of stuff to to move your uh your ranger over there. Nah, I, I like keeping but, uh, it by the door. It's just easy. Yeah, to get easy, in and out. easy in, easy yep, out. Yep, huh? yep. That's it. I'm gonna do the wall, and I'm gonna have like a tackle shop. All my okay. baits, personal stuff is going to be on like a pegboard. Cool. That's going to be pretty cool. That's what's Once up. I get that done. The rods all on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I seen uh, C and B on the lake. Uh, I think it was Monday. Okay. No, was it Monday? That may have been Tuesday. I don't remember. One day, I actually got to shake this man's hand for the first time since. Oh, cool. And we've been passing by each other, hollering each other, but it's it's all I've always had clients on the boat. And yeah. When I got clients on the boat, it's a job. You know, I don't I don't yeah. stop and and uh, communicate and I wave and get back to getting them on fish. But yeah, finally got to sit there and chat with him a little bit. But he was he was on the move then. He he said, "Man, I got to get on me some fish." Oh, cool. <laughs> yes, sir. TMT, what's going on, my man? Hey, TMT. Craig said, "Got the jigs today." Oh, oh cool. My Sweet. time, man. You must live <laughs> way over yonder. <laughs> That's what's up. Joey, what's up, my buddy? Hey, Joey. Super Dave. Somebody give us a fish story. I'm, I need to see some fish stories. Come on with it. Uh, got one. What I've been noticing on, on the big fish, probably two pounds and more, they're looking pixelated on my graph. You know, like a uh -huh. normal one would be dark, but all yep. the big ones are pixelated. And I followed one for about 15 minutes today. And that joker didn't even stop. He And I was going probably 1.2 miles an hour. Yeah. And I was just, I could just barely see him 20, 30 yeah. feet away. He was That's cruising. Those, those oh, big yeah. fish, I'm telling you, they, they do not glow yep. like a, a, right. the, 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 the normal yep. fish. Them big fish, they do not glow. And I thought it was a catfish. Oh, no, that's a crappie. Yeah, yep. you, you, me, and you were on the phone together yep. uh, yep. one day. I was like, "Man, yep. this got to be a catfish." Yeah, yeah. And drop down there, man. Them fish get over two and a half pounds. Yeah. You know, get up yep. around two and a half, right. over two and a half. Yep. They, they do not glow. Oh yeah. On live scope, they yep. just do not. Craig say he's from East Texas. Say he's new to the channel. We thank oh, you for cool, joining man. us. Hey, welcome, Craig. And if you got a fish store, go ahead and yep. Give us a little little note over here, and we'll talk yep. about it. Hopefully, you enjoy us talking about our yeah. experiences out on the water. Yep. What lakes you fish too? Yeah, he in East Texas, so you know he got some good lakes over there. Lake of the Pines. Yep. Devon says raining every weekend in Louisiana the past three weeks. Been yeah. itching to get back out there. I know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use a saying that old LBG used a lot, man. Them fish they they wet already. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you just got put you know, yep. dress up, get I'm your gonna, frog towel. I'm gonna go buy some uh, frog togs tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, I've been uh, mine's still in my doggle, but you know I've been going out in that that other boat. So, but luckily I hadn't been out. I missed sprinkle uh, right. some when I've been out, but I hadn't had a downpour yet. Just hadn't had a, a, a downpour yet. There's crappie setting. What's going on, hey, buddy? Crappie setting. Devon say he hate the spawn because it's always rain during the spawn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we got we got a few more weeks of it. You know, it's like I was telling Steve, man, on that radar map, if you zoom zoom out and look way out west, that's Pacific over there, right, Steve? Oh yeah. You can you can see the radar out over there to Jap- I think it's Japan yep. that's yep. over there, right? Yeah, west. And yep. and Pacific. these storms, these storms are. The, I mean, we got a line of them coming. Oh yeah. And it's been like that for three months. I mean, it's just a line of storm after storm after storm, and they all coming straight west, come across California and beat us up. Yep. Quentin, what's going on? There's Miss Bertha. Hey, Miss Bertha. Mike Jones. Mike Jones. I hadn't got to a fishing story yet, so it got to be coming soon. Do you guys ever donate your fish to needy families? You bet. Yep. I donated my fish to a. There was a couple at the boat ramp, just in a car, just watching, chilling. Yeah. I was like, you want some fish? And I blessed them with my fish today. And they were so cool. happy. They were smiling. And they never yeah. heard a crappie before. They were from Colombia. And I cool. said, man, this is, you'll enjoy this. So enjoy yeah. it on me. Yeah. That's what's up. They got a trash bag out of their car. I was like, you want some ice? Nope. And we're going home right now and clean them. Yeah. Yeah. More, more so, more so, neighbors and family, Craig. Uh, because I, I'm not sure of the laws when it comes to just donating to, you know, especially crappie. You know, they get they they get kind of particular when you get to talking about crappie. But uh, I, I don't I don't have like a a line that you can call and if you're a needy family that you can get fish. But it's not like that. But I do donate to a few of my uh, my uh, neighbors and and family. But uh, I'm not for sure the the laws that go along with uh, trying to do it for for needy families. Mm-hmm. I'm quite sure they got some restrictions and stuff like that that you'd have to. Devon talking to Miss Bertha said it's been raining every weekend in South Louisiana. It hadn't been in three weeks. Man, come to James. <laughs> yeah, if it's James. raining there, go to the next state. <laughs> What's up, fellas? It took me seven years of consistent fishing. But I am officially in the three pound club. All Congratulations, right. Congrats, man. man. Yep. That that is not an easy, yep. easy thing to accomplish. Tell us about what where you was and stuff, if you could. Yeah. That'd be pretty that, cool. That would be that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot of congrats. Yep. Mickey D's, what's up, man? Mickey D's, what's happening? Devon say, I sure hope it don't rain too hard Friday in South Louisiana. We supposed to get it. Starting tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, I've, I've canceled it. Well, rescheduled that trip Monday. Uh, and the trip today, my client passed. And then tomorrow, uh, we've rescheduled. And, and I'm talking to my, my client for Friday also. We're probably going to have to reschedule that trip. So, I mean, it's just the, the past, all this year, 2024 has just not been good for me. It has not been good for me with this weather, rain, and wind. Miss Bertha said, I haven't been either. I was supposed to be in Dallas this week, but my brother, uh oh, passed away Monday. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'll be glad when I get out on the water, also. Yeah. Man, I was just talking about the death of one of my clients. Yep. There's Fahim. Hello, crappie hey, family. Fahim. Prayerfully, everyone is good. I had the opportunity to go fishing. Today, I caught 12. Eight were over two pounds. I'm oh, gl- cool. kind of glad I ran out of bait. <laughs> That's good. That's a good day right there. Yes, sir. Any day you get, hey, just one or two yep. fish over two pounds is a good day. Yep. JR says uh, there's 66 watching and only 17 thumbs up. Only 17 thumbs up. He said, no, I had a sore back this this last weekend, hopefully this Sunday. Mr. Patrick Keys, I tell you what, uh, Super Dave, man, that, that them back problems. Right now, I'll tell you what, it's, it's kind of tough. when I, when I got to watch how I set the hook now. I, my, my shoulder... And my elbow, man, it's been it's been really bad. I was on one trip to where I had to help these guys uh 
uh, catch some fish. And all I could do was set the hook, and I'd have to pass the rod over for my client to to, to fight the fish, because I that that I means just a sharp pain makes me want to mm-hmm. drop that rod whenever I set the hook. Yeah. Hey, Patrick. Yeah, Mister Keys is is getting his boat lined out. I want to say these country folk ready for me to get on some big slabs. Miss Burcher says, I got my mystery jigs and I love them. Can't wait to use them. Thanks a lot. Steve, did you see my message I sent you? Yes, yes, I saw it. Slick hollered at Mr. Keys. Al Booster, what's up, my buddy? Gary says, Hey, Steve and SK, how's it going? Going great. Hopefully, going good, Gary. Also. Look at here. Brett from California is watching. Hey, Brett. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's, y- how's y'all's fishing over there, Brett? Look at this dude here. Brian B. Catfishing. Hey, Brian. Let me tell you something, y'all. If you like watching somebody catch some giant catfish, this dude right here puts them on the bank. And he, he mostly bank fishes. And out of a kayak and catch some some monster catfish. Monsters. 35 likes, so we're getting up there. Awesome. Yep. Craig says, here's my fish story. Didn't go. Winter won't go away. Chances of snow this weekend. Wow. Oh, man. That ain't good. Yeah. Oh, I know Murdoch laid them out. He said he went to a private lake after work. Really didn't have time to look around. I found a bunch of fish locked on timber. I tried every trick in the book. They would not bite. Man. Yeah, I had. It was weird. I had one fish today, and I had that jig on that fish more than I usually do. Probably three, four minutes. Wouldn't even react. I even shook that jig, tried to hit him. Nothing. I'm Did like, you have a weight on? Yep. A lot three of times, I'll, I'll hit him with yep. the weight. I'm like, man. Yeah, but today yeah. I hit a fish with the weight, and he still wouldn't move. <laughs> a couple of fish um, hit that weight. I really? could feel it. Yeah, they yeah, hit the weight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, uh, Tuesday when we was out, we had caught, it was two fish, on, you know, they were buried in this brush pile. We got one immediately nailed the jig. So we caught that fish, and I promise you, we messed with that other fish two or three minutes. And the more we, we get that jig on him, the deeper to the bottom he would go. So I was like, look, we waste our time. Let's move on. So we went and hit a couple of the brush piles and said, hey, we're going to spin back around to where that big fish was. And we got back up there. He was on top of the brush pile. Dropped down there. The joker immediately nailed that jig. I was like, why? How? Why would they do that? Right. I mean, he was just running from the, well, I can't say running, but he was just sinking away from the bait. Man. Murdoch, I'll tell you what, man. I, I situations like that, man. It, my first thought is maybe change it, you know, go with a different color or something. But man, if you if you on them fish like that and you know you got that jig on top of them, it it, it you know they they're sitting there asleep. Right. You know, and I, I tell that's one of the first things we're gonna see see some fish that that they're just not gonna eat. Yep. Yes, we see the fish. Yes, you see the bait. Yes, you see it right there at that fish. But some of them are just not going to eat. Yeah. Black Smoke says, see that fish kill like 70 miles long, 265,000 gallons of liquid fertilizer in a wow. Oh, wow. I didn't river. hear about that. I didn't hear that either. Man, that's, Man. ooh. That's crazy. Ooh, that's, that's bad right there. Yep. Devon say you always give fish to yep. Yeah. There's Tim. Hey Tim. I done told my fish story to you. So you <laughs> tell it this game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tim's been on some good bags. I think he's fishing uh uh he's up in uh uh Waco. So I think he's fishing fishing Lake Waco. Uh, Lake, Lake Waco, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tim Tim won a trip. He came down here and fished with me. Uh, oh cool. Yeah. I need to do another giveaway on that trip. Oh no! Yeah, water temperature today was sixty-two and a half. Nice. Yeah, I'm nice. surprised it ain't going. But we haven't had no real sunshine 
uh-huh. in a few days. So that's why that water temperature is still. We need a couple good hot sunny days. Yeah. And the nights in the fifties, and we'll be mm-hmm. there. Yeah, nighttime temperature yeah. fix it a lot. Yeah. I don't know what the and, and, and that rain's gonna ruin it. And if it's cold, uh, the wind really cools the water off. Yeah. I mean a lot. Carnell, what's going on, my man? Well, it's going to be 56, but that rain's going to cool the water down. Yeah. Murdoch said this water temp was 64. Oh, okay. Four foot of water. We're in four foot of water. This lake is normally gin clear, but we've had a ton of rain. Don't know if I was too close or if it was the fresh water. It's just crappie, man. That's yeah. that's that's what they're known for. They are just known for, for uh, being difficult. Yeah. Super Dave say he's seen that. Wow. Joey says Lake Houston crappie dive into the timber and disappear. Tuesday was good, but nothing worked today that worked for me. Ended up getting results with using a one eighth on short late all deep. Yeah, I used a on short a little bit today. I caught a couple of yeah. fish on it, but that gray just uh they've been on that gray good for me. Right. So you said Tuesday was good. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was good for him, but it, it was not good for me. And it's not that I couldn't get fish to bite. It's just I could not find them. Right. They were dug in somewhere. Devon said, know about 20 friends that eat crappie, and the list always increases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you talk about crappie, man. Yes, sir. Damien, what's going on, my man? Hey, Damien. Steve, thanks a million. I love the crack control motor. Oh, yeah, that thing's a beast. Yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what, man. Gorman has got this crappie fishing figured out, man. Oh, yeah. Yep. Merrick say he may have to cash to him. That's that's something. Yep. Or, yep. or swing it by him. Right. Yep. Sometimes that works, especially if it's a lake with clarity. Yep, yep. There's Jeff. What's going on, my man? Hey, Jeff. Yes, yes, Craig. Crappie is considered a sport fish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how Her you pronounce Claude. that? Her Claude. Her Claude. Well, Thank you for now? joining us. Yep, thanks. Nice some slabs in your avatar. Yeah. Profile pic, yep. So, you know, we, we always talk about, uh, well, I can't say always, but I, I know everybody hear me talk about the 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 spawn season is my least favorite time. And it's, you know, when you get out, I see so many people, they'll, they'll toss an anchor out, they'll tie off to a tree, whatever. This time of year, unless you're on a solid bite, don't even think about throwing an anchor out. Right. Just stay on the move, man, because if you're thinking you're just going to go up to a bank somewhere and catch these fish, even if you caught them there an hour ago, or the day before, two days ago, that does not mean that they're going to be there. Uh, I've seen them vacate areas, and it's like they move through in swarms, and they'll right. spawn in that that location. And next thing you know, they two three hundred yards away. Yeah. Uh, uh, another thing that can happen is the wind direction change. A cold yeah. front comes through. A little bit of rain. I mean, there's so many variables that go into to turning them off from wanting to spawn that it is unreal. So. Uh, you, you, you got to stay on the move during the spawn. That's the only way you're going to increase your bag. In my opinion. Kusi says, what's going on, brothers? Went today, caught half a limit, all uh, of good crappie and 10 foot of water. Cool. There you go. Good stuff right there. Yes, sir. I, I like fishing 10 foot. That, that, that's yeah. Good. Yep. yep. Yeah, I don't like that, that, that. 15, 16, 18, man, yeah. especially with clients, you know, with new people that don't really no. know how to work your rod. Yeah. Jerry's crappie life says, Hey fellas, the big males were in two feet of water. Sunday caught seven over two pounds off a old ladder going in the water from the bank. That's what's up right there. And on Lake Houston, I'll tell you what, only just recently I've been, uh, Catching some small males, you know, 11 inch stuff, 11 and a half. But man, we've been getting on some 
13 and 14 inch males. That them some big males. We're not catching them black, uh, but once they hit that live well, uh, if you look at that that last pick that I posted from my trip Tuesday, man, we had some really solid males. They got colored up in the live well. Right. Yeah, I had one yesterday color up in live well. Yeah. I, I remember, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten years ago, man, you could catch them males. They come out that water colored up like I don't yeah, know what. Yeah, yeah. It's so rare. Uh, I talked to one guy that lived on the lake. He he caught four that were colored up. And this guy fishes almost every day. And mm -hmm. he fished shallow. He pitched the bank a lot. But uh, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's something different down here. Yeah. They're going to say, Lake, you follow been on fire herd. Okay. What's your follow, Alabama or Oklahoma? I think it's Alabama. Oh, uh, there's two of them? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, really? <clears throat> There's Darian. Hey, Darian. What's up, man? So y'all hitting the crappie fest Saturday on Fork. I, I know I'm not. It's weather canceled. <laughs> 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 nah, just kidding. I ain't decided yeah, yet. That's that's what I'm thinking too, Dave. I'm on. I'm gonna talk to my doctor about it next on my next visit. So, uh, man, it's it, it's a sharp pain. I mean, it. I know it's from my shoulder. But I feel it. I feel it in my elbow. Yeah. 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 My back today. Oh man, it's hurting. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing too, man, that causes them back issues is 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 these weather changes. You know, yeah, cold yeah. fronts roll through. Yeah. They definitely uh affect your your just hurting your yeah. joints. Ooh wee, Craig said got 110 calves on the ground, two to go. Man. Man, that's a nice herd you working with up there. Oh yeah. BRTP, I got to see him out on the lake today. Oh, cool. He, yeah, he rolled up on me today. Did he have some slabs? Uh, he's learning boat control. He just got okay. his just got his boat, just got yeah. his live scope installed, and he's working on on uh learning his boat control. That's good, man. That's what I was doing today. And always <laughs> need help. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. You can yeah. always use a refresher. That's right. Yep. Crappie setting says, SK, I'm crappie glad you hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Murdoch said, You got bursatitis. <laughs> <laughs> Go get yeah, a steroid, in, steroid injection in that shoulder and elbow. Yeah, I may oh, end up having to do that, man, because it's, 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 uh, it, it's nerve wracking. Yeah, I was at the VA last week or a week before and i was telling the doctor you know my elbow has been last couple of years you know what i mean uh-huh and she told me yeah it's probably old age i'm like damn doc <laughs> didn't even hook you me almost made me spit my water <laughs> i was like what'd you just say <laughs> she's funny yeah jld what's going on my man there's J -Dub. Hey, jld Hey, J Dub, what's happening, man? So he's heading to Sardis in the morning. Oh, cool. Good luck, man. Yeah, have a safe trip, brother. I know you're going to get a little You guys were on there. Grenada today. Craig Warren, said, Warren Cotton was on Grenada today. Oh, really? Yeah, I seen his post had two big old slabs with one of his clients. I guess it was mm -hmm. his client. Yeah. Craig said, Consider Pines my home lake. I fish flats and standing timber along the main channel. Work, wind, and rain has kept us off the water for the last several weeks. Planning on going Saturday, Lord willing. Yeah. Well, hopefully you get out there and and uh, I know Lake LOP got them slabs, so yeah, yep. Yeah. Ain't gonna be no trouble finding them. Yeah. You need to ship one of them lakes down this way. Oh yeah, yeah. I've Man, been, I tell you, I've been on that lake. I got two people that are personal best on that lake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've been trying to stick with old Lake Houston, man, but I tell you what, that joker there, it's it's some work, it's some work, man. You know, especially putting new people on fish that don't, right. you know, don't don't understand how to how to how to live scope, and it's tough, man. It's a fun lake to fish because you can go out there and get on some really good fish, but man, at times that lake is, and that's why a lot of people don't like it. You know, right? It it makes you work. Mr. Key says, finally got my rod. Only thing instead of 
two piece. It was in three pieces. Uh oh. Yeah, it depends on um, what. Like using them fifteen footers and bigger three piece rods. Yeah, I think. Footers. Yeah, he he ordered ten a ten foot rod. I think it may have been broken. Oh. Yeah. Only thing you gotta do is if if it is a ten foot that was broken, just just hit Denali back up, man. They they're gonna get they're gonna get you taken care of. Oh, he they ordered got, Denali. Yeah, they got really good customer service, so just hit them up and uh, they'll get you fixed up. Albert, what's going on, my man? Hey, Hello, SK family and Super Dave, 336. Sorry I missed the last live chats. Been in the VA hospital fighting this prostate cancer. Ooh, oh, man. man. Hey, good luck, man. Prayers. Yeah. Yeah. They, but they are right yeah. now, they, they've, they've uh, gotten to where it's, you know, they can handle that stuff pretty good. As long yeah. as you don't wait too late. Right. But they can, they can, uh, they can, they can take care of you with that. It's just a process. I mean, I know I hate going to the doctor too, especially when we talk about surgeries and stuff, but we all get into that age to where we got to deal yeah. with. It. Yeah. The delivery person broke, man. Yeah. yeah. Man, I got a delivery about how many rods was it? And the guy, the package was broken. You knew the rods were broken, but the UPS guy said he has to deliver it. He can't like just send it back. So he yeah. delivered some broken rods and knew they were broken. Wow. I'm like, I'm not a doctor, but I use Splendor. Slender root bar. Root bar. So I'm going to have to, I got to look that up. I'm okay. not sure. I don't That's even know what cool. that is. But you know, Fahim got them, them remedies over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, uh, he sent me a couple of, uh, remedies for, for different stuff. Yep. That's right. Super Dave. Miss Bertha. It was a Denali. Yeah, Albert say uh, that he's glad too. You know, hopefully you get to laugh about about this. I I tell you what, I had uh kidney stones, and uh, it is one of the worst things I've ever had to deal with in my life. And one of them was so big that they had to go in and get it. Uh, and that process, you know, they put you out. You don't know nothing. Uh. Uh, you, you don't, you have no idea of, of what happens, uh, when they do the surgery, but I had some beef with my doctor when I got through, uh, when I what did come through and woke up, uh, because I had to walk around with a string hanging out of where they had to go in to get them things for, I, I don't know, a month, two months. Uh, but that was the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. And, uh, man, it's, we just got to go through it though, man. Just, just keep your head up and, uh, keep praying, do what the doctors say do. I'm going to tell you now, I used to be a diehard on, uh, Gatorade and Powerade. I drank more of that stuff out on the lake than I did water. And they said that that, that was probably a big contributor, contributing factor in me having kidney stones. Mm. So right now, and, and, uh, uh, I was talking with my clients just yesterday. They was like, well, I drink any kind of water because, you know, I, I, the doctor told me only spring water. So, uh, that's all I drink now is spring water. I will not drink Gatorade. I will not drink Powerade as much as I like it. I mean, it, it quenches your thirst out on that water, especially if you got it nice and cold. It's an awesome yeah. drink for when it's hot, but it's just, it don't do your body any good. Murdoch says, as for changing colors, there's 30 jigs laying on the deck of my boat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I remember them days, man. I'm going to tell you now. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, before I got live scope, man, I'm going to tell you, that would be a big old stack of jigs laying on my front deck. Without a doubt. Who won the tournament at Conroe? Uh, no, they didn't have a tournament on Conroe. Did they? Yeah, they did. JJ. Yeah. That, uh, that was a few weeks one. ago. Now nah, that was. I think he's talking about that little. That little. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know if he's talking about the East Texas one or not. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> Fahim said he got four of those crop in the oven trizzlating. Oh, I know man. exactly where he got that trizzlating from too. Yeah. <laughs> Burn units. So they broke my PB twice on Saturday. The stomach of these fish are crazy. Oh, man. That's 
good. Good job. Yeah, man. we got some big old, big old guts on these females down here too. Fame says fishing at Lake Arrowhead is very good this past week. Oh, cool, man. Super hey, what Dave. city is Arrowhead in? I was just curious. I don't know if it's coming toward Fort Worth or going the other way from Wichita. Falls. No, you know, oh, with okay, yeah, you you know he's in Wichita. Yeah, yeah. Is it coming oh. south or? I need some solid black, maybe one and three quarters. Yeah, just hit me up, Tim. I'm booked for a couple of days. Um, I got a lot of stuff because I've been fishing. So tomorrow's work day. There's Torque. Yeah. Torque and Ann. Well, you got to, you picked a good up, day Torque? to go to, yeah. to have to work. Yeah. It's going to rain tomorrow. So I figured I'll do all my stuff tomorrow. Cool. So I'm going to talk about something that, you know, I've I've always hot, spoke highly of of uh, Gorman's customer service, but I've had two in, incidents where the guy that that answered my call needed to be fired. Uh, I, I had that uh, what used to be called a horse, and now stabilization is called stabilization with the very last update that they that they did. But anyway, it screwed up on my on my 8616 and uh i know how to turn it off but i had i looked for a, a solid hour and couldn't find a horse so i was like man that something had to have happened they had to have changed it or they totally took it away and i finally seen that stabilization feature i think i talked about this last week on the live too but i turned it off i was able to finish my trip and and used used it with the stabilization off but i talked to gorman and the guy had me to, to record a little video. I sent him the video showing him with the with the, the stabilization off and with the stabilization on. And it the, the thing is it didn't go really bad with the stabilization on, but it was not right. So I'm panning, I'm the whole while I'm recording him telling him, say hey, now if I turn to the right, turn my troll motor to the right, you'll see that it looked like I'm looking downhill. Turn it to the right, looking downhill. So now I'm going to turn my trail motor to the left, and you'll see it look like it's, I'm looking uphill. But I'm in a shallow bay. It's all very little contour changes. So I turn it to the left, and it looked like I'm looking up at a bank. And uh, and I sent this video to him, and he sent me a reply back saying that uh, there's two things that was wrong. One, I was in six foot of water, and live scope don't really work in that shallow water. Two is it don't work with your spot lock on. And I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I about melted my hat. I got so hot from that reply. So if you do contact Gorman and you just get a reply back that just don't sound right, be sure to talk to somebody else. Because it's no different. You know, they got employees that work there. And it's no different than than than. Going to the doctor, you can go to some of these doctors and they're quacks. They just don't know what they're talking about. You go to the, 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 the grocery or a sporting goods store and talk to an employee there. They don't have any clue about what they're trying to sell or a car dealership. It don't matter. Different people take their job more serious than others. So I, mean, I highly, I, 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 I like Gorman a lot. I, I talk about their how great their customer service is, but I will tell you this. Don't expect to call there and just talk to anybody and and get good information. Uh, if you feel that you're not being treated fairly with one person, either tell him to put somebody else on or hang up and call back. And it's very rare that you get to talk to the same guy twice. But I want to get that off my chest because I'm going to tell you, now I talked to Steve before I called him back. I said, man, I got to cool off before I call these people back because they got, they got an earful coming from me. And when I called him back and talked to the other guy, he said, hey, Mr. Daniels, just just come down. Come down. You know, I was pretty, I was pretty warm. I was like, look here, man. I've been messing with this stuff for over three years. I'm a full-time guy. I mess this crap almost every day. You can't just tell me anything and expect me to believe it. He was like, all right, uh, just let me let me hear your story and let me get it figured out. And uh, that's where we went from there. And it, it's like I say, I tell a good. And I also tell the bad. If it's too bad, I just don't say it. But this is a, a remedy that could possibly help you. 
But I ordered a, another transducer. Turned out it's probably my transducer. So I ordered another transducer. Got it in today. I'll be installing it tomorrow. Won't be able to check it. I'm going to try to squeeze out tomorrow or if not Friday because I'm probably going to cancel my trip Friday. I'm going to squeeze out there and make sure everything's working good. But if you have an issue with your with your uh, Gorman, uh, talk to the right person over at customer service. You don't have the direct line to the CEO? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, I ought to. I ought to, but I don't. I don't. But I've talked to a couple of guys over there that, that are pretty high in the company. I don't yeah. know what positions, but you could tell by just their – they put me on a list of, of uh, uh, a recommendation list that if, if somebody down in Houston just had to have somebody to dial their unit in or or – you know get some training with it that they recommend me they right. yeah yeah they run classes too you can get certified in Garmin and stuff it's pretty good yeah craig say i sent you guys some pictures of the crappie and a few bass that was last fall okay, okay cool joey says when i asked when i was a kid fishing houston my with my dad, we could tie up to two or three different spots on the bank and get a limit. Those days are long gone. It's a whole new style of fishing now. You're yeah. totally yeah. correct. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You're totally correct. And I'm not going to say that it's not as many fish in there. I just think that they're, they've changed. Right. Black Smoke says males more important than the females. They try to protect the eggs. I yep. totally agree. Yep. JR says those crappie males look good in their black tucks. Oh, You're yeah. totally correct. Yep. Pretty fish. I like catching a big male. That's what I yep. like. Yeah. Mickey D says crappie were almost black coming out on of Somerville this weekend. That's what's oh, up. Cool. I almost made that trip today. <laughs> almost did. That low wind. And uh, I almost made it, but I was supposed to went to the woods today too. Didn't do it. So man, whenever I have a bad day on the lake, it eats at me. It eats at me bad. It eats at me bad. Victor says, "SK and Steve, what's going on tonight?" Hey, Not Victor, a whole what's life. happening, man? Just sitting here talking about crappie yeah. fishing. You've been fishing, Victor. Jerry's crappie life says all those males I caught were wearing their dark tucks. Oh, cool, man. Yep, that's that's a good thing, man. Okay. All right, Murdoch. Murdoch says says bursitis, inflammation in the joint. Oh, okay. Yep. There's Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Look at here, would you? Soccer lay Pat Trahan. What's happening, Pat? Wear your rain suit tomorrow. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> now I got too much work to do in the shop. Marvin says, hello, everyone. I'll be in East Texas this Saturday. Any lake suggestions? No, Tyler. There's a bunch of them up there. Uh, yeah, lake Tyler. Uh, lake Tyler's a good yeah, lake. Yeah, yeah. They had a tournament there a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Lake Athens is over there. Lake Palestine. Yep. Quentin says, fish in the river, what is the best way to start? Have a lot of current and about five foot deep. Wow. Um, I, I would say look for the areas. Uh, ox, maybe they got some oxbow. Slack what they water. Call yeah, yeah, slack water. And what's yeah. the little offsets they yeah, call the them? Oxbow. Oxbow uh, yeah, lakes. Yeah. Especially this time of year. Uh, they, they're going to be. The cuts. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's not you, you won't have too much uh success fishing fishing where there's right. a lot of current for crappie. Pat say, wake up, Steve. <laughs> nah, <it's gonna> be, <laughs> I might do all night or do some jigs all night. Murdoch says, got a buddy up at the camp where we've been ridiculous walking them. He caught his limit, but he said he worked for him. Took him most of the day. Yeah. Yeah, day to day is totally different. Yep. Man, Pat's up at 10 o'clock at night. Man. Yeah, he must be off tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Slap B. Slap B's uh, 
He may be tied up. Oh, Super Dave said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger Rick says, howdy. Glad I didn't get on the lake today based on your report. SK. No, yesterday was a tough day. Today was, yeah. was, and I, I, I only went out. It was probably, I don't know, two o'clock when I got to the lake. And I, I only spent a couple hours out there, but I, I found what I, what I was looking for and, and, uh, caught several really, really good fish. Uh, I did probably five back in the drink videos. And I had a good buddy of mine on one of the spots where, uh, I went and yeah, I was, I was going, I put like four of them in the live well. I said, I'm going to take pictures of those and put them back. And he was like, you going to do what? So he ended up keeping, I, I guess, eight of them. And, uh, then he, he had enough for, for what he wanted. And after that, I caught, I don't know, six or seven or so that I did some little, little short clips for YouTube back in the drink videos. Murdoch says, Patrick Denali will take care of that. Just call them. They have the best customer service I've seen. And I, I will yeah. agree. Yeah. I will agree. I will get you some bush tea and man manganese. Man what? Mangonza tea? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough. Uh, tongue twister right there. Yeah, I don't know about that. If I can't pronounce it, I don't think I want to take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool to see Pat. Pat, you never usually see Pat up this late. Yeah. You must have Robert. had some of that tea. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, say what's going on? Hey, what's uh, happening, Robert? Robert G. Gerald says, I saw I had prostate cancer in 2013 after surgery and 33 ra radiation treatments i am now cancer free congratulations yeah, yep, congrats man yeah they they've been doing a lot better uh one of my uh, a good friend of mine and client uh had lung cancer recently and and he's he's back to normal man wow, that's good yeah but he and and he's up in age uh uh 79 i think and 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 pulled through it so wow. yeah it was a lot of work in and yep. out of doctor, all that chemo and radiation and all that crap. So yep. Fame says my brother, Albert Alshaw, prostate cancer is treatable. I am a survivor. There you go. It's a challenge, but it's a positive attitude is one of the key factors. There you yep. go right there. He says surgery was in 2010. Oh, okay. There's JJ right there. Hey, JJ. B. Dennis. Hey, what's up, man? You get your trailer taken care of today? He was doing some hubs. Okay. Some bearings and stuff. Cool. Black Smoke says per perspective mode in shallow water. I haven't ever used it. Yeah. I don't list. have a, I don't have it. Man, if I'm bluegill fishing, maybe. That's what I'm gonna do it but, for. But for for bluegill, I, I mean, not I mean for a crappie. I have man, right. it, it gives you zero depth perception. So I I, I don't I, I don't have a need for it. Mister Major Brown, next time you have issues with stabilization, turn it off, then raise the pitch angle all the way up, and then back down, then enable it again. Okay. Yeah, I don't mess with that thing. So I don't. I never mess with it. Yeah, but if that chip mess up in that in that uh, transducer, maybe something you have to do. And it's easy to get to. I mean, it's it's uh, right there in your in your menu mm -hmm. in the uh, uh, sonar. What is it called? Sonar settings, I think. Setup. Sonar setup. Yeah, sonar setup. Yeah. Super Dave over there dropping the links. This is uh, Steve's uh, Facebook yep, page. Yep. Super Dave. Yeah, look on there. The next couple of days, there's going to be some specials going on. I got some painted jig heads um, I want to put on there. I'm going to put them on there tomorrow. They'll be in packs of like 35 or so, 30. Cool. You doing them with the, with the boxes or no? No, no. Just if you want a box, it's extra, but it's just going to be a bag of jig heads. Oh, okay. Yeah. A trial thing, see how it goes. Yeah, Tim, man, you got to be careful with that Gatorade. Yeah. 
And this is, uh, any of you guys heard on Facebook, this is a, a, a crappie fishing group that I put together. And yes, it's called Houston area, but if you live in the United States or even some places other than that, it's still Houston area. You're not, you're not too far away. So join in and not only can you read reports on there and see pictures, you can post your reports and pictures. Yep. <clears throat> Modern day Magellan. What happened to fishing Lake Houston? Well, I don't know, man. You know, that thing, it fell apart years ago and it, hmm. it was just, I, I don't even know if you can get on it anymore. Hmm. It was a thing back in the day. There was a lot of people posting on there, hmm. but it just, you know, fell off. Yeah. BRTP, what's up, SK and Steve? I've been practicing boat control last two days. There oh, you go. cool, man. Only way to do yep. it is get yep. on the water. Yep, stay proficient. And I will tell you this. It looked like you was only out there an hour or so because when I <laughs> come back around that corner, you was gone. Hmm. Major Brown said, I'll be at Kentucky Lake Grand Rivers area next week. Anybody got a fishing report? Kentucky Lake Grand Rivers. And Super Dave just dropped my contact information. If any of you guys get down here to the Houston area, decide you want to get out on the water and fish with my sometime catching crappie behind, you can do so. There's my contact information right there. The email is super long, but if you can remember SKS, Crappie Catching Adventures and at, at gmail.com at the end. You will get me. Or that phone number. Yep. Murdoch says, wh whacking them. This dang autocorrect kills me. Oh, that's what that was. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on the iPad. Yeah, iPad apparently don't like what whacking is. There's victory saying, yes, I won the crappie tournament in Anahuac. And that's oh, cool, that man. Congrats. Annual, yeah, on Turtle Bayou. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had, uh, uh, I wanted to make it, man, but I just didn't want to go there and be fishing a tournament and uh, have never fished that place. But I'm going to eventually get out there. Uh, I got to figure out what his other other uh, lunch spot is that, that, that he say most people use now because the lunch right there at that uh, park is is it's not safe but uh i've seen some good fish come from out there i want to get out there when the, when it's not the spawn you know because everybody say that they can't catch crappie no other time of the year i want to hmm. go out there when 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 they say that they disappear that's when i want to go super dave says please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you yep. haven't already thank you super dave there's Pontoon Jody. Hey, Pontoon Jody. Oh, yeah. You say, yes, sir. Thanks for the all info. Yep, no problem, man. Roadhog said, well, I'm late, but hey, y'all. Appreciate you for joining hey, us, brother. Up, Roadhog? Joey says, if I wanted to go with Gorman instead of upgrading to the low active target two, what kind of price tag does that come with? It depends on the size of graph, you know, probably minimum 2,500 yeah. for a 10 inch graph and, you know, LVS 34. I, I will tell you this, you know. Joey, you will be a lot happy a lot happy, uh, more happy uh, fishermen if you did that. Right. Not down in Lawrence. You can get it done with Lawrence, but to compare Lawrence to Gorman, uh, you just can't. But it's like I say all the time. I can go out there with with the uh, uh, hummingbird. I can go out there with Lawrence. I'm gonna catch fish. It's just not Gorman live scope. Craig says, I filled two new tackle boxes and two new poles for two great grandsons. They really like fishing. Oh, cool. Easter presents. That's awesome. Cool. Yep. Yes, sir. Rodog says, Well, I'm just now able to comment, but I've been listening. That's what's up. Cool, man. man I wish you would have made that trip today, man. I think we would have had a blast out there. <laughs> Man, it was supposed to have went to the lease today. 
Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, but we he had other priorities, and I did too. So, all right, Albert. We'll catch you later. Says, yeah, okay, care, family. Albert. I'm out of here for tonight. Catch you guys next week. Yep. God bless, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Super Dave. Craig said, I need more famous crappie jigs. <laughs> <laughs> I want well, that Craig, one I, to catch all them fish. <laughs> that's right. I, I hooked you up, man, because you say you won before and, and uh, didn't go through on, on uh, getting them. So. Right. All right, Mr. Mr. Albert, take care of yourself, buddy. Yep. Damien said, I have caught six short of a limit at Turtle Bayou during fall. Be careful at that boat launch. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard some horror stories about that yeah. boat launch. Yes, sir. Well, look like we got a, a it. bunch of rain. Yep, coming four in the morning here. Yep, same here. Same when here. When it come from the west to the east. Yeah. Do you want to say how far are you from Turtle Bay? A lot farther away than Lake Houston or Conroe. It's out there pretty good ways. Probably an hour and a half from me. <laughs> I do. Oh, wait. No, somebody come up with this. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the pole dancer. I want to try it out. <laughs> That's funny right there, buddy. <laughs> but, guys, it is the spawn season in most areas. Yeah. Uh, I'm not for sure uh, about way up there uh, where they still dealing with snow and stuff. But down here, most of the stuff around these areas, most of these fish are, are uh, definitely spawning. Um, I have seen, I have caught some females that are, just about out of eggs, but I am still catching a bunch of females that, that are stacked. Uh, right. So, I mean, if you do decide to get out there and get you some minnows and pitch the bank, uh, don't forget to try some deeper water if you're not work if it's not working shallow. Right. Uh, it is a good time to be on the lake. You can have a chance of catching a fish uh, that will be, cl you'll classify your p PB, your personal best. Yep. Uh, but it is going to take some work, even if you do a guided trip right now. One day we get out there, and this man, we find that right area, and it's just, you know, we, we put it on them. Really good fish. And then you'll have a day like yesterday to where it's, we fish. I'm, I'm talking, I'm passing over, you know, 10 and 12 pieces of structure with absolutely nothing on it. And uh, I pan a lot when I'm, when I'm, uh, when I'm trolling alone. And uh, sometimes I'll see fish up there, you know, six, eight foot of water. But also when I'm panning out there that 15, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15, 16 feet of water, I'm seeing fish out there too. Yep. So don't don't get stuck on just feeling fishing shallow, especially if it's not working for you. Chris says, I'm late. Have pollen on screen been discussed? No, we hadn't talked about it, but it is uh, hadn't been really bad past week with the rain that we've had. Uh, but those pine trees are still holding a lot of those uh, pollen buds up there. Right. And we still got to go through the oak and all the yeah. other trees and plants right. that are going to release. But from what I've seen, the, the, the pine affects these units the worst. Uh, we was out on the lake, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, and I had clients out there. And uh, I'm, I'm zoned in on the unit, and the guy's wife said, hey, is that tree on fire? I look at her and say, what tree? And I, I just so happened, even behind us, I look up, I was like, what the heck? And that's exactly, it was a big gust of wind that came through. And those trees released so much pollen, and immediately it hit that water and just fogged up the top top half of my, my uh, screen. Oh, wow. I mean, it absolutely covered everything. Uh, I had to get my, pot, my, my, my uh, lint-free towel out and clean my unit. I mean, it was it was pretty bad, but you know, with this rain that we got coming, it, it hadn't been really bad out there. Murdoch says weekend here don't look good weather wise. May fish local small smaller lakes and get a little work done around the house. There you go. 
JR says, Joe, Joey, Bash Pro has 106 for 1,000, LVS 32 for, they still said the 32? I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I don't know. A lot of places were sold out. But yeah. I, I personally, I'd go with a 34. If you're going to buy, don't buy nothing old. That's about yeah. six, seven years old. Yeah. Technology wise. Yeah, same thing I say too. Yeah. If 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 I'm buying brand new, I'm gonna yeah. get the latest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh but if, you'll be if, behind if, the curve right from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. If if yeah. you have thirty two, is it worth upgrading mm -hmm. to the thirty four? I, I don't think so. Uh but if you do have an issue with that thirty two, more than likely you're gonna get a thirty four yeah. from yeah. Gorman. They're not gonna even they don't even yeah. have any. Yeah. Bass Pro bought all these closeout stuff, so yeah. Yeah, they got a spay must be have a brother in law, sister in law, some deal going on. Yeah, they yeah. always get the yeah. good stuff that uh when you buy millions at a time, you know, you get yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Joey says, SK Steve, do, thanks for doing these lives. I've been really enjoying them and look forward to Wednesday evenings now. Yeah, appreciate it, Joey. Glad Thank to have you. Thank you very much. Man. He say he didn't say minnows, did he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, one of my buddies got gave me a wait. Well, he didn't give it to me. I'm using it. Uh, uh one of those minnow coolers. Uh, eventually, I'm telling you, I'm going to try this. Especially, you know, some of the elderly uh, uh clients that I, I'm just, I just want to try it. You know, because it can be tough. Your know, reaction, t your reaction time is just not there when you when you're you know up in age. And whatever it takes, get them fish in the boat. Now, I'm not totally against using metals. If you got to use them, hey, get them proper in the boat. That's what it's all about. Yep. Chris said, I thought I had serious problems Sunday. I just found out it's pollen. Yep. That pollen will, will make. And I'll tell you something else that's coming soon, too. I'm seeing very little light uh, remnants of it already. It's a thermocline. Hmm. It's coming to a lake near you soon. Especially on Lake Houston, Miss Bertha said, "I just want to let you and Steve uh, know I really enjoy these lives. I appreciate all the info that I've received from you guys, and have become a good fisherman, fisherwoman." Cool, cool. That's awesome. Yep. Gary said, "The Great Ghost Hatchet Head works well in Neely Henry in Bama. I am new here." Wanted to give Steve a shout out. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thanks for the support. Awesome. Yeah. And and just so you guys do know, you, you sell those by the five pack, right? They're individual. You, some Are you doing them individual? Do, yeah. If I used to do five, but now I just do how many you want. Okay. It's just easier. Yeah. You know, they're going to buy more than, you know, I'm not going to sell three. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, hey, if you want to buy three of each color and it adds up to 30, I don't care. It's It's good. Yeah. Yeah, but in That's the stores, up. the retail stores I sell, they're in packs of four, and that's just how they wanted them. Yeah. So, but I'll sell them whatever you want. VNR said the pollen is pretty bad in South Carolina. Oh man! Tell you what, it 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 makes those units work extra hard, and makes us work extra hard looking through it. Right. Yeah, it's not good. Fahim says, talking about crappie and eating crappie. There's nothing like it. Yep, I took two out of the oven. Oh, yeah. Well, you enjoy. Yep, yep. I know it's good. Devon said, how did you season it? Okay. There's Thump Daddy. Hey, Thump Daddy. Thump fellas, can't wait till the spawn is over. Post spawn going into the summers is my favorite time to fish. Yep. I think spring is like next week, right? Or no, it already hit uh, oh, today or yesterday. Oh, okay. Yesterday? Yeah, someone think... was talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the same. They say the first day was either yesterday or today. One of the two. Her her cloud says I disagree. Buy the thirty two if you're you're crappie fishing. Still a great unit, and the thirty four will be out of date. Uh, in the next year, huh? I'm gonna tell you, I have n nothing bad to say about the 32. In my opinion, it shows up close, it shows clearer than the 34. But the thing is, Gorman is not gonna support them, right? 
Not saying it won't work. If you can buy a brand new 32, yeah. have at it. But if you have issues with it, whereas you got to use your warranty and you're dealing with Gorman, you're going to get a 34. Right. I will say that. <laughs> you say, I know that's right. Yep. And everything update wise that they're coming out with, they're not even thinking about the 32. Everything's for the 34. Right. Right. So, exactly. Yep. JR said, SK, maybe the reaction time is why I don't catch as many as you. Now, JR, <laughs> you, 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 you move in, in real time. <laughs> mm -hmm. You move in real time. But when I have to say set the hook five times before they set the hook, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Today, I, I did a couple active captain um, helm feature videos, uh -huh. and um, I went back and looked at it, and I'm like, Dang, my reaction time slow. Wow. <laughs> it was yeah. about a second and a half, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. less, but yeah. I was like, I usually set faster than that. Am I losing it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caddy on the slabs. Say, what's up, fellas? Caddy on the slabs. Check hey, it in. Caddy on the slabs. What's happening, man? There's yeah, Miss like, Becca. My reaction's getting a little slower. I need more practice. Yeah. <laughs> but Thanks I got him in the boat. Us. He That's didn't go back matters. in the drink, but he didn't put him back in the drink. Huh? <laughs> he went back in the live well. <laughs> yeah, say like bluegill said, "This one ain't going in the drink, but he going in the in the in the cooler." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where can we check out your inventory on Facebook and photos? Go to photos, and I have jig heads, plastics, hand ties, and just take a peek in there. But anything can be custom made for you. That's what I tell everyone. 99% of the stuff I do is custom made for you. Whatever color, <laughs> whatever glitter, you get exactly what you want. Yeah. Joey, that, that's another reason why I hate the spawn too, because I mean, everybody is out there. Not yeah. that I want people to catch crappie. I'm not saying that, but man, that crowd can be a beast out there. Pitching the banks. <laughs> yes, sir. That crowd can yeah. be a beast. Miss Bertha said yesterday, March 19th, that was the first day of oh, okay. uh, spring. spring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Darian said, what's well, some good tips on finding spawning fish on a new lake? Where are some good starting points? Uh, first thing I would do is 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 look at a map. And uh, the, the, what I've been seeing is these fish, they, they're going to spawn where there's some deep water close. I'm not saying it got to be 40 feet deep. But deeper, I guess I should say, deeper water to where when these fronts roll through, they can just, they don't have to swim a mile to get away, you know, to where they feel comfortable. Uh, and I, 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 I'm not going to say that they, especially Lake Houston, I, I, the farther up I go in some of these, uh, the rivers and, and the creeks, the less fish I see. So, uh. It, the, the creek don't have to be a, a it can just be a little cutout uh off off of the lake and as long as there's some deep you know deep water you know four to you know six foot of water off in that creek those fish will spawn in there uh and on some banks that's out of current you know if it did rain and there it's out of current you can look at those banks if it got like lbg say if it got some overhanging branches you know those fish love those banks with overhanging uh branches that got some structure down there on the side of spawn. Some grass i know we yep. caught them Couple yep. days ago on some grass. Yeah. And just cast the banks. We did that last uh -huh. year on Benbrook. And mm -hmm. man, we found them. Yep. Just cast the jig on them banks, just like your bluegill fishing. Yep. <clears throat> and and just just stay on the move, man. I mean, that that's the biggest thing. Um uh, right now, I mean, I, I I'm finding my better fish anywhere from you know 10 to 16 foot of water. That's why I find the big females. Um, get up there shallow. Uh, you catch some, you know, decent fish, but the better fish are, are holding. And I, I still say that they don't go shallow until nighttime. And my, that's just what I'm seeing. Uh, and I think that's why a lot of people, uh, you know, the ones that fish docks and, and stuff like that, they're, they're getting these fish pretty good at night this time of year. So if you can get out there at night, that that be something you you could check too, and check them, you know, docks and 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 uh, shallow areas. 
that'll help put some fish in the boat. Craig says, I can't wait till the spawn cause the crappie are close to the bank in shallow water on farm ponds. That's okay. right. Cork. Yep. Pontoon Jody. This year. Usually I do. I haven't used one yet. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to start checking on them big old bluegill here soon. Oh, they yeah. got to be getting ready to get started. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, I've been seeing some people doing really good on red here already. Okay. Yeah, Shellcracker. Oh, on Houston? Oh, no, on Conroe? No, no, no. Uh, just different. No, not, not Conroe, but oh, just yeah. different. I know California, areas. they have some big old hogs. Yeah, I've just been seeing it, seeing it online. Fahim says at Devon, 225 garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, Old Bay, Bahi complete. Hey, that. Uh, Badia, Badia, yeah. Yeah, I, Badia, I used that, the same thing. Yeah, that, that Badia, Badia completes complete some, yeah. some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, my, fa my favorite food to add that to, and I picked this up from one of my clients. He, he would always bring bald eggs. On, oh, okay. On, when he went on a trip, and the first couple of times I was like, "Nah, I don't want the bald egg." Uh, but then I just the the set, but the, I'm not sure what season he used on his. Mm -hmm. But but to to make a long story short, when I boil my eggs, now I've been doing it, taking them on on fishing trips. Cause I mean, just digging back, grabbing one and right, bloop yeah. right in your mouth, and you it it is very fulfilling. Right. But I've been been uh, uh, seasoning them with that complete seasoning. And it's really good on bald eggs. Louisiana seasoned fish fry and fried and peanut oil. Oh, cool. Yeah, you over there eating good, buddy. <laughs> yes, you are. Miss Becca. Hey, Miss Becca. There's Dark Horse. What's up, crappie lovers? Hey, Hello, Steve Dark and SK. Horse, what's happening? Steve got those hand ties and they look great. Oh, cool, man. Appreciate it. Rodark says, Steve, do you have any YouTube footage of that? Is that on, on Facebook? Can I no, see? No, 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 I don't have any. I'm going to do it. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. Craig. Crop Day Fish on. Speaking to Miss Becca and Miss Jody. All right. Who we got here? Devon says crawfish prices are finally starting to drop. Yep. Okay. Miss Becca. Roadhog. Steve, do you have any YouTube that the folks that aren't on Facebook can see? That's what yeah. I, I, I sort of figured oh, out okay. what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah. yeah. Thomas Turner says, what is your thought on putting a Gorman 32 transducer on a handheld trolling motor? That's what LB, LBG runs, yeah, my, yeah. our buddy LBG. Hand, hand yeah, it you know, it works. Yeah. It works. It works. And you don't have to turn your troll motor around away from the fish. Right. Hey, Ronnie. Just leave it pointing towards them and, and hit your reverse. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ronnie Harris. Her cloud says really good advice on spawning fish. Everybody thinks they need to find the skinniest water, but back off into that six to ten foot range yep. for the yep. big ones. Yeah. You know, I, I've been I've been singing that tune since way before live scope. And to me, live scoping is fun. I'm gonna tell you now. But man, that old school fishing, that there ain't nothing to beat it. Nothing that beat it because it's pure skill to find those fish or look. But uh, man, it's 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 a lot of fun chasing those fish. Uh, without I love it with live scope now. Uh, I I won't go back. Yeah, I can I can go back, but I I won't go back. Live scoping is a lot of fun. Just seeing the reaction of those fish. And uh, I'm not meaning by them coming to hit your jig. A lot of times, them turning away from that jig, them backing away from it, them dropping down from it. I get excited from all of it, just seeing them react to it. Yeah. And it, it, it gives you information on what you did wrong or what you could possibly do to, to, to make them change their mind and hit it. 
Ronnie Harris, you know Cam from Cam's Crappie Hole. Everybody know Cam. Mm-hmm. Sakale. Yep. Yes, sir. Hashtag Sakale. Yep. He's trying to tell us something. <laughs> yep. All right, Craig. We'll be watching All next right, week. Craig. Appreciate yeah, you, buddy. Fire up that tool. A lot of people leaving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, punch us. SK, I caught a 63 pound blue cat Saturday on a piece oh, man. of the jack. Man, Woo. I can only imagine. You know, today yeah, I scanned yeah. an area of some, some really deep structure, right? And I was telling Steve and another buddy that I'm willing to bet I could live scope some of those big old. Um, these fish are five or six foot long. And how do I know it? Because I could, you know, on the top of your graph, on where is it at? On the top of your graph, on your on your live scope, it tells you the footage at the very top. So I'm looking at this fish down here. If I can stand on the screen. And he's that long. I look up at the top, and I'm like, man, that fish is six foot long. I'm talking about some great big old fish. Bet you that would be a great fight. This person said, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bluegill is my fish. Oh, yeah. All right, let me get this uh, tool started. Uh, there, there's, you want to handle that? What does it say? I'm you can, you can I've started looking for washout areas <clears throat> with trees along the banks, exposed roots. Yeah, like the needs. Odds are a tree had fallen in and made a brush pile in the 10 to 15 foot depth. Yeah, them cypress needs and stuff. I never really fished them, because, but I know Lake Millwood, there's a lot on the east side of that lake. A lot of guys get some big fish over there. Two, three foot of water. All right, I messed up, so I got to start it over. <laughs> I messed up. Kusi says, going in the morning to hunt for some big gills and radios. Oh, cool, man. Good luck, man. Hey, Harry. I wish I could. I got to give you control. No, that's all right. Uh, Ronnie, not personally, but I have seen his shows. Eat the fish with your fingers. That's what's up, Fahim. Yeah, I had plenty of aunties that would do that. Yeah, yeah. I used to make um, some Asian stuff like sticky rice, and then I'd do some barbecue chicken or something or grilled chicken oh yeah we didn't have no utensils everything that sticky rice you you make the chicken real small and ball it in that sticky rice and eat it oh uh -huh. man we'd be on the table like eight of us wow we'd be tearing it up that's the old days yeah you gotta eat the fish with your fingers <laughs> <laughs> well, i'll tear up some crappie with my fingers All yep. right, almost there, y'all. Get back at him, Murdoch. I refuse to let him beat me like that. Hey, that's just what I said about today, man. Yep. You know, yesterday was pretty tough for me. Hey, now I want uh, y'all can't blame me for this uh this hashtag. Y'all got to blame uh Roadhog if y'all don't like it. What <laughs> <laughs> gave it to me? <laughs> but any of you new guys that are here, if you want to be entered into a, a giveaway. Uh, just in the comment section, type in hashtag sock alley, just as you see it on the screen. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Yep, got to be subscribed yep. for it to pick you up. I uh -oh, love Super old school fishing. Free Ranger boat. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> hey, that ain't funny no more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Miss Becca, that part right there. Uh, and she was saying that she she loved the old school fishing because yep, you can yep. look around and enjoy nature. Yeah, yep, when you're live yep. scoping, you you gotta be pegged on that on that screen yep, because exactly. if not, you're gonna you're gonna miss something. Yeah, it's a bigger rush when you feel the thump. It's unpredictable. You're totally right. <laughs> Jr. say them cats on the pump station near dam are at least six foot long. Six Man. six foot long. Gerald, what you know about the pump station? 
Hashtag free ranger boat. <laughs> <laughs> Roadhog Day, he will type in hashtag crappie. That ain't what you put a while ago. <laughs> exactly. The element of surprise by just your knowledge yep. and know how. Yep. Yep. Uh oh, Craig, you got to retype, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Becca. Yep. Yeah, you guys no are typing the wrong hashtag. Yeah, it's not hashtag crappie, y'all. Look at the screen. Yeah. Look at the screen. Craig say, I'm feeling lucky tonight. All right. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Roadhog say, I'll tell you what. Ask can catch them and cook them too. Yeah, I got a few hats left. If you want one, $15. Oh, he said yeah. SK can catch them and cook them too. <laughs> yeah, 15 yeah, bucks for the hats. Talking. And then I got a few left. So if you want one, hit me up on Facebook or email. or And I'm going to throw a, a decal in there for free. Sweet. On all the hats I sent out. So you can put on your boat cooler. A lot of guys put them on little coolers so you can identify them, you know. Yeah. Property Day Fish on says, talking to Super Dave, said, free boat that floats and I'm in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, I was going to the lake today and there was this marina there. And I was like, ah, let me stop by and just browse in there. And they had this low boat outside. I sent a picture to SK. It was a uh -huh. 175 low. And it had like, it was like a bronze color. It looked pretty nice. I was like, man, that'd be a nice creek boat. Yeah, that was a sweet For like looking $35,000 or something. <laughs> But I went in there and they had some stuff, but nothing. They had the oil I used, $65 a gallon. I was like, man. Wow. I'll just get it online. I get it cheaper. I think I'm going to buy a 55-gallon jug. Okay. I've been thinking about it. Yeah. I could probably get a lot cheaper. Right. I need a pallet jack, though. Yeah. Murdoch said, got my order today. The Silver Chanel. Do you have any? Gold. I thought I had another card, but I don't. Yep, I got gold, man. Hit me up. I got some silver right here. This is the silver you was talking about. Oh, you can't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Silver tinsel. Yeah. Yeah. Pump station was put in to support Sheldon Reservoir during the war. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Black Smoke, so he got a Stinger 175, 06. Oh, okay. Cool. There we go. Zachary. With a bunch of entries. Uh-huh. 41. Okay. We have a bald eagle nest high in a tree where we fish. They will run off the ducks and geese off the water. Yep. All birds. All of the birds take off when those bald yep. eagles are around. I took a picture of uh I, I, this is my first time ever seeing two of them. They 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 didn't have a nest or anything in this tree, but there was two big ones po po uh, posted up at the very top of a really tall pine tree. And I got pretty close to them. I got a pretty good picture. I posted it on the Facebook page. All right. Yep. Murdoch said, yeah, yeah. Uh, you sent me three, sir. I, I didn't know I needed gold. I'll okay. message you. Okay, cool, man. Cool. All right, so we're stuck at 41. I guess yep. everybody's in it. So Let's we going to roll. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna I guess I'll you wanna go first? Or you want me to go first? It don't matter. Okay, you can go I'm gonna first. do I'm gonna do two. Oh, you're gonna do two. All right. This is for Steve. It's it's yeah. uh you you get a surprise package. Yep, yep. Here we go. Good luck to everybody. Let's see who the lucky person is tonight. Quentin Farr. Quentin. Congratulations. Yep. Send me your name, address, and um, where to send the bank wire. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Steve's email. Yep. You can hit him up to send your, yep. your mailing address. And right. number two, here we go. Man, I'm, I wish this, this rain got to get out of here. James hey, Wanky. James, congrats, man. Yeah, Send James is a James Email, Fish Lake Houston. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, James. Uh, yeah, here's here's Steve's Facebook too. If you want to yep, do that, yep. and I'll send it out 
probably Friday morning. Well, maybe tomorrow night. Yeah. Now I will tell you, whoever wins, I'm just gonna do one. But whoever wins mine, I I don't give dates on. <laughs> <laughs> All I can tell you is my word is good, and yeah. you're gonna mm -hmm. receive it. I try to have them receive it by the next live, but yeah, yeah, it all depends what's going on. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, here we go. Getting the post office is the easy part. Remembering to do it is the hard part. Well, as long as they send me a, a email, yeah. I always highlight them. Yeah. Until I mail them off. I used Al to, Booster yep, Fishing. Congrats, Al Booster. I used to prepackage everything, so it's ready. All I need is a name okay. and address. Yeah. And there's my email. If you would, Al Booster, uh, send me your mailing address, and I will get your package to you. Yeah, I need to do. I need to do a couple of. Uh, not tonight. I'm not gonna do it tonight. But I need to. I need to do some more of those uh, giveaway trips. Man, that was that was fun fishing with those yeah. guys that won those trips. Man, that's cool. Yeah. Payne says congratulations to the winners, Super Dave. Yeah, I'm going to do that coming up soon. Yeah. Going to do that coming up soon. Yep. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun guiding, but man, let me tell you, it's been some work, man. It's been some work. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun being out on that water. Uh, it's a lot of fun sharing the knowledge and seeing those those. Big smiles and happy faces when when these people bring it in, and some of these yeah. people just have never ever caught a crappie, right? And uh, they uh, they they get to take home a nice sack of fish and and uh, enjoy some of the best freshwater fish there is. Craig says, "Thankful alive." See you next week. Roadhawk said, "Congratulations to the winners. Maybe yep. one day I can be one too." <laughs> yeah, number one Roadhog. <laughs> Let me see. I don't, he must have won one time. Uh, I don't. I don't know. He's he's always here though. Yeah. He, but I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him. Ranger Rick says congratulations to the winners. Yeah. Caddy on the side. What's the most people you can take on a guy trip? Two people. And I will say this: if, if I. I, I this is something that I, I try to let everybody know. If you're not familiar with live scope, it's always best to go one on one. That way you get a good understanding of it and can put some, some fish in the boat. But, but usually if I have two people, you catch two or three fish, uh, some guys go five and then you swap out. Right. And, uh, that time off of it, 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 it's, it's, uh, I see where a lot of times I got to re constantly repeat myself. Uh, and it's not just drop your jig down there and the fish jump on it and he's in the in, in the boat. It's it, we still you still have to catch that fish and yep. there is definitely still technique that you have to do, yep. especially enticing these fish with the with the jig. It is very very possible to do, uh, but it it takes still takes skill. Yeah, yeah. I've been messing around with these breaks and what I'll do is I'll just make. You know, I'll get that jig on them, and that fish will try to react. I take the jig away. Mm -hmm. Then I'll drop it again and just practice. You know what I mean? And then third time, the, most of the time, that that fish will still bite it. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing that I'm seeing a lot of on Lake Houston. If you if you present that bait wrong to that fish, take it away from him. If he leave his perch, where what? And the thing is, when these fish post up on this structure. They're in ambush mode. Oh yeah, uh, and th I think that's one of the reasons why the these fish don't like uh, suspending on on Houston because when they leave that structure, if you get that fish to to see that bait and leave that structure, he's going to turn around and either hit the bottom or or he's gone. Right. It's very rare you get a second opportunity at a fish on uh, 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 hmm. on a fish on Houston. Gary says, good time, fellas. Enjoy the show. Yep, appreciate it, man, Gary. Yes, sir. Mr. Samuels, I think you're you're a little little late. We've already did the drawing, sir. Yeah. But we, we appreciate it. Yeah. And you know you can get some jigs from me anytime. 
uh, he, he got a trip schedule. I think another trip schedule will be coming up in a couple weeks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Craig said, feel sorry for me, Steve, and just send me some. <laughs> <laughs> I do that on occasion. I'm known for that. <laughs> I'll pick a name out the crowd and be like, you know. Thanks, Miss Becca. We appreciate yeah, you joining us tonight. Yeah. Hope y'all have a very blessed night, and hopefully you do too. Yep. Prayers and blessings, hugs and much love. Thank yep. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Super Dave dropping the my contact information, and you guys want to get out there with me. Fahim says, I'm full, I'm happy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I think we've covered a lot tonight. Yep. Uh, hopefully, all the winners. yep. Congratulations to all the winners. Hopefully, what we've talked about will help you put more and bigger fish in your boat your next trip, and make your next trip very soon. A few because times. it's a great. Yep. Yes, I've won before a few times. It's just been a while. I'm still happy for the winnings that can go out and actually see the quality of the limits tackle baits. That's what's up, cool. right there. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I worked hard at it, man. And there's more yes, to come. Sir. I'm working on some new stuff. It's going to be pretty interesting um, in the next few months. Yeah. Yes, what's up? Super Dave says, another good show. Be safe, yep. everyone. Wear those PFDs. Yep, and safe. a good PFD to wear is the Onyx AM24. Yep, that's what I got. Three of them. Most of my clients yeah. that get out of the boat I have to say, hey, give me my life jacket back. Because <laughs> they, they forget their own. Yep. They as are that. Get in my boat. That's the first thing I do. Yep. 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 Yeah. I, uh, as soon as the clients get on, I put the vest on. I tell yeah, them to get out. Even do anything. Yep. 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 No doubt. No doubt. Got to be safe out there, y'all. All right, guys. Well, I think we've covered a lot. Yep. And, uh, I appreciate everybody. Super Dave, Slick, Steve. Appreciate everybody in the yep. chat. And good, man. like always, we'll yep. be back next week. Same time, same flavor. Super Dave okay. got it right. Peace yep. out. Peace out. Peace out.